So you want to learn to board slide. Today I'm going to take you through the simple steps of how to board slide. And hopefully by the end of this you'll have a pretty good idea of what you need to do to be able to master board slides. The first thing you need to do is find yourself a double-sided curb. Now we have right here exactly what I'm talking about, a double-sided curb. So the reason you need something like this is in order to board slide, you need to be able to slide without your wheels hitting the ground on one side or the other. So instead of just rushing right up to the ledge, going full speed and trying to board slide it, there's some steps you can do that'll help it be a little bit safer. So before you put any wax on the ledge, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is come up to it perpendicular. So riding up like this. So you're just gonna ride and you're gonna lift up enough to get onto there. And don't worry about how you're gonna come off. The fact is, you're just trying to get up here. So you have to be able to do a short manual. Just long enough, really just kick down enough that you can get your wheels over this. So once you get comfortable doing that, the next thing to do is change the angle that you come up to it. So next, I'm gonna try this right at the end and I'm gonna come whatever I feel comfortable, 45 degrees or so, and you're gonna lift your board 45 degrees or so, and you're just gonna go right off the end. Just like that, real quick. Just right off the end. And the reason you wanna do that is because if you come at this full speed from way back here, and you try and do a long board side right off the bat, what's gonna happen is you're gonna be surprised at how slick it is if it's got lots of wax on it, and you're gonna slip right out. So I know it doesn't look too spectacular like that, but you're lowering your risk of jumping on and just zooting right out because that happens a lot when first learning board slides. So as you get comfortable just doing them off the end, slowly what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna start to get closer to parallel to the ledge. So just, you know, slowly get comfortable and eke your way to more parallel to the ledge. When you're more parallel to the ledge, you're gonna have to actually turn when you lift up. So that's what makes it a bit trickier because when you lift up, you now have to turn and at the same time as turning your board, you now have to be able to lean forward. So as you approach coming closer to parallel to the ledge, you now have to, at the same time as being able to turn this way, you also have to get your shoulders and weight forward so that you don't have that nasty zoot and land with your back and your head on that ledge. And I would recommend if you're trying to straighten out and come parallel, still just do it right off the end. Just a little one. And it doesn't matter which way you come out. It doesn't matter if you manage to turn your board back and come out. It doesn't matter if you swing your shoulder. Airplane. Okay, it's gone. It doesn't matter if when you come up to it, you swing your shoulders around and you come out like a 180. So you just keep working on those until you're comfortable. And the trick about this to doing these safely and not landing on your back and your head is just build up slowly and get comfortable. As you get comfortable with this, you're going to incrementally start going longer and longer each time. So I'm gonna try it just a little bit longer this time, maybe about a foot and a half or two feet a slide. Let's try that just a little longer, maybe from this crack. Okay, so I'm feeling pretty confident. Been warmed up for a bit. Maybe I should try the second crack back there. It was sticky. Another really important thing I haven't mentioned is you gotta keep your knees bent when you jump on that. What you don't wanna do is jump on, have your knees locked and land with your weight on your heels. You wanna stay over the balls of your feet, balanced with your knees bent, and that's gonna stop, stop you from pitching forward or going back. 
but let's be honest you're gonna slam sometimes learning this that's skateboarding let's see if i can get the whole thing little tip i got lots of wax on that curb but i'm gonna get a little little extra help So sometimes I come back out regular, sometimes I come out fakey. It all depends on how I feel when I'm on the ledge, which way I come out. Should we do a few bonus curb tricks? Let's see what works. First one I've ever landed. I don't care if it's on a curb. All right, you guys, I really worked hard on that kickflip board slide for you. It was for me. But check out my slide marks. Yeah. Yeah, take that, primitive graphics. Anyways, I hope you found that helpful, and I hope with hard work, you are able to achieve wicked board slides. Stay tuned for the next video. Thanks for watching.